Hi, my name is uh, Irrelevant, and I'm sure you've all been keeping up to date with the most anticipated free agent move of this entire offseason. And yes, finally, Austin Rivers has been traded away from the Los Angeles Clippers, and we all really hope that Doc Rivers was the reason why. <coughs> and, and, and LeBron James happened. LeBron has been rumored to go to many different places around the league. But, but what's the chance that he lands at your team? Find out in this episode of... This isn't a f***ing series. Number 10, the Boston Celtics. Remember when Kyrie Irving said he wanted to be the man, so he packed his bags and went to a different team? Well, f*** him. Force yourself into that picture whether he has a choice or not. You're f***ing LeBron. He fits perfectly into the, the roster, and with B. Red Stevens, the most competent coach in the league, Boston is a place for LeBron. Unless it isn't. Number 9, the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans was in the headlines last season for signing big man DeMarcus Cousins to tag along with Anthony Davis to create the scariest duo in the league. Add LeBron to that, and that trio is even scarier than Hurricane Katrina. I'm legitimately not even happy with that joke. It's not even funny. I don't know why I wrote that. Number 8, the Atlanta Hawks. As we all know, LeBron has had a fierce rivalry with Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And you want to know who resembles Steph Curry? Trey Young! So join the Atlanta Hawks and create an uprising with the second coming of the unanimous MVP. Or better yet, beat his f***ing ass to simply vent all frustrations you've had with the Warriors. So why not act as if he's the real thing? Plus, I'm sure everyone would want to kick the shit out of a grown man with a music leader account. Are you- You gotta be fucking kidding me. Have you ever read the this is real? Is this is legitimate- oh my god. Number 7, the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee does already have a potential future MVP on their hands in Giannis Antetokounmpo. What the fuck? But you want to know what's better than one MVP? Two MVPs. And besides, when's the last time something wrong has happened with having two future MVPs on your team? I could just imagine what having three future MVPs on your team would mean. Future dynasty. Am I right? Number 6, the Golden State War- No. Number 5, the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers have an up-and-coming roster that's slowly progressing into a team that doesn't necessarily need LeBron. You idiots, take him or lose, next. Number four, the Philadelphia 76ers. The Philadelphia 76ers are another team that have an up-and-coming roster that's slowly progressing into a team that doesn't necessarily need LeBron. You idiots, don't be such fools, next. Number three, the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns are yet another team that have an up- and coming rough. You idiots! Don't be such idiots! Next! Number two, the Toronto Raptors. Remember when LeBron swept the Raptors, beating them for what felt like the 10th time in his NBA career? Well, why not help out their sorry asses and head over to the beautiful city of LeBron to Toronto? <laughs> They've practically bowed down to you at this point, so much so that I wouldn't be surprised if their slogan to try and sign you would straight up just be please. P please. With like a picture of Drake. Crying or something, I'm not sure. And last but not least, number one. Any team not named the Los Angeles Lakers. Please, LeBron. We're begging you. Please don't go to the Lakers. They're already cancerous enough without you. Why add fuel to the fire? At the beginning of the year, they were talking about how they had the best rookies in the league. But a few months down the track, and they're going to completely forget about them. Much like you, please, I don't care where you sign, just please not with the Lakers, not the Lakers, please LeBron, for the sake of the fans. Well that was my top 10 list on where LeBron should sign this offseason. If you feel like subscribing to me, uh, please adopt me. I'll be releasing my nudes at 1 million subs.